Hello everyone, I'm Laszlo. In this video, I want to reflect on one of the Twitter conversations I had recently. It was about Google-based OAuth authentication in front of a Streamlit app. Now, there's another video where I have set up a GitHub-based authentication, and this is the set up in front of me. So there is a Streamlit application running on this URL deployed by Gimlet onto Kubernetes. And when I hit the URL, I am redirected to GitHub for, you know, authentication. I've created an application for it, set some client ID secrets and so on. And then my app is protected uh, by this proxy. Now I want to reconfigure this uh, to a Google based provider. And if you look up the other video, you can see that uh, there's an auth proxy settings inside Gimlet where, you know, we encrypt a bunch of uh, settings, which we copy and paste it from GitHub. And the truth is Gimlet only supports GitHub, but it's using an open source project called auth to proxy, uh, which has so many, so many, so many uh, uh, identity providers. And actually Google is the default. So the GitHub probably took more configuration for us to make work. Uh, but so basically in this video, I'm going to use Google. And uh, the good part about Kubernetes is that everything is possible. It is so flexible and probably this is the downside as well, because there are so many moving parts, so many open source projects. Basically, death by a thousand paper cuts is a reality if you start building a platform yourself. And basically, our company exists for this purpose, to actually pick the 50 most common use cases and make it easy, make it, you know, a simple experience, just follow a tutorial and then you have a, a platform uh, running your use case is served. And if you need to customize it to your company's experience, of course you can go into those open source projects documentation like this video and then fine tune it to your needs. So um, let's just do that right now. So I have a GitHub based auth and Gimlet is GitOps. So every configuration is backed by a config file, a YAML file in Git. Now, this is the auth to proxies uh, manifest. And as you can see, there are things like provider equals GitHub and GitHub user e equals Laszlo CPH. Uh, so probably if I change these settings based on the documentation, uh, which I will follow this guide, uh, then I will be able to use Google as the provider. Now I have, uh, did a, I have done a test run yesterday uh, with this one and it's not too bad and not too difficult to, to create or, or alter the configuration. So let me just uh, get to it. So I'm on the OAuth2 proxy page and I'm following the Google uh, um, provider configuration setting. And first of all, there is always you need to do something on the identity providers side. And this guide also tell me, tells me to, to create a new project. And once we have the project, we create an auth credentials basically and the consent screen. And this can go sideways. So best to do a video of this. And my project is going to be auth uh, proxy demo delete me two, uh, because there was a delete me yesterday. And I place this under my organization and people will be able to authenticate to this uh, Streamlit application whose email ends with at gimlet.io. So I am creating this project now and I activate this project. And the guide is telling me to go to APIs and services. So let's do that. APIs and services. And on the left side, there will be a couple of things. I need to create some credentials and it's an auth client ID that I need to create. Okay, it tells me that I first need to create a, co a consent screen. Now, if you follow this guide, it says similar words, but I think this guide is a little bit outdated. So I just uh, follow my instinct here and my experience from yesterday. So it's going to be an internal application. So even if I, you know, leak some credentials or something, it's, it's only my company, people from my company will be able to access this app. So that's a, uh, that's actually pretty, pretty nice. And the app is going to be auth, auth, uh, proxy demo 
delete me too support email I guess I need to set something application domain not mandatory authorized domains not mandatory so for now I'm just gonna save this no, I actually need to set this Laszlo and good scopes I don't care about these and summary yeah back to dashboard now back to credentials I'm going to need to create a credential auth client ID application type is going to be web application. Uh, it's going to be auth um, proxy delete demo. Delete me too. Now, these are the important parts, you know, but in, in the auth flow, the auth uh, flow, um, certain URLs has, have to match up, otherwise thing will be broken. So I'm gonna need to find uh, a JavaScript origin where this process is going to be kickstarted. And I believe if I look at the documentation here, I'm gonna find the homepage URL, which is actually the same as for GitHub. So at least auth is rather similar on both uh, providers. I'm gonna set this prefix rather soon i'm just gonna set the redirect url as well which is the same domain just with some paths on it Alrighty, and go back i'm gonna need the domain which is this one this is the prefix or actually it's, it's not even a prefix it's a suffix we need to fix that to be a suffix All right, so this is where my proxy is running uh, <clears throat> and I create this application. And now these secrets are visible. That's fair, I'm gonna delete it before launching the video, so don't worry about it. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so this is this is what we did. New credentials, auth, client ID, web application, set the URLs as, uh, as we have set, and then take note client ID and secret. Now going back to the Gimlet auth proxy configuration, cookie secret, we keep it as before. Uh, it's not dependent on the provider. Client ID on the other hand, we're gonna need to set this and encrypt it. And client secret, we also need to set it and encrypt it, review the changes only these two fields were changed. And if we save it, it's GitOps, so it goes to Git in the form of a pull request. So I have the chance to review it again. As you can see, Gimlet is made for team use. Uh, so you can ask your friend to review your pull requests. And once this is, was merged, it actually is being synchronized to the cluster shortly. Uh, because it's GitOps and the cluster is pulling down the changes. It just recognized that there was a change, so it's pulling it down and soon uh, this will be applied to the cluster. Now, I don't think our configuration is, uh, is fully set at this point. Uh, let me come back to here because um, it's still a GitHub-based uh, configuration. And as you can see, I use the UI to save the client ID and client secrets because it's the same for all providers, but I've come to the source code or to, to the infrastructure as code to actually change the provider to Google. Even though Gimlet does not support Google-based um, auth proxying, uh, you can come here and you can make your changes and Gimlet is gonna be just fine with it. So that's the pretty cool thing about GitOps and how we do GitOps is that you can do this kind, these kind of things. And I'm going to authorize people with Gimlet IO domain. I don't need the GitHub user uh, setting anymore. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Probably nothing much else. So if I save this, it might be, it might just work. I don't know. Let's see. So again, I saved the code and now the cluster realized that there is there are things to reconcile, so it's going to take like 30 seconds for things to be deployed. And then, uh, let's see. 
All right, now it's applied. And if I go back to this Streamlit app, remember from the other video that uh, it has the proxy enabled, it redirects people to sign in to the auth proxy and the proxy should be configured to use the Google-based provider. So what if I click this button? Okay, this is not too bad. It's already a Google-based provider. It just says that the redirect URI mismatch. So some config uh, error I made. Um, so redirect URI auth blah, 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 slash auth to callback. Now, this is the error prone part of, uh, of, uh, of auth. So, What's wrong? If I go here, maybe the forward slash, that's, uh, that can be easily be a problem, which is uh, quite annoying. Um, and pretty much, and pretty much this is it. So, so uh, maybe if I delete the forward slash, it's gonna be fine. I don't know, but let's see. Okay, and if I visit the app again, this is magical. We had just a single error and I pick my Gimlet IO email and it says I need to sign into auth proxy demo delete me too, which I'm going to do. And boom, the application, the Streamlit app now showed up. And what happens if I'm not signing it with a Gimlet IO e uh, email? Uh, for that, I actually need to sign out, um, which is a little bit problematic. Uh, let's let's just um, yep for for sign out, I go to ingress and I visit the documentation here, which has a sign out URL, uh, which. I'm going to steal this prefix again. I need to put this somewhere, somewhere where it's easily uh, visible. And now where is my new tab? It's right here. Okay, so if I come here, uh, it's not quite it. Endpoints. Oauth2 sign out. Again, the forward slash. Oh, come on. Yeah. Anyway, so right now I am not signed in. Yes. So again, this is the sign in screen and I'm going to use my personal email. Then it says access denied. So actually this was the demo. So we used an existing GitHub based auth. It's an open source project. project. It supports all kinds of authorization uh, providers. Uh, authentication providers. So we just changed some settings to Google. We created an app on Google's roughly based on this guide and uh, that's that. So uh, Kubernetes is nice when it works and uh, this time it works. So thank you very much for your attention.